Hello and welcome to this video on conversations on consciousness. So in this video I'm going to be talking about what are mind machines, what are light machines. So mind machines are devices which can help to change your states of consciousness for meditative uses, for hypnotherapy, personal development, business development, sleep, pain relief, the, the list goes on. So these have been around since the 1950s, 60s as early devices um, such as using uh, the, the original like LED uh, diodes, which are very small little diodes, using blue, green, red, yellow, different colored lights to change your brainwave state. So I remember being very, very young. My very first experience I had on a mind machine was my father, which introduced me to all this. He's been a pioneer in the electronics industry for, for many, many years. And I was around the age of nine or 10 years old, I believe, when my father gave me this um, device. It looked like sunglasses with LED lights behind. Didn't know what it was. I was like, okay, it plugged into this like it looked like an old Walkman stereo and I just had that and he said put these headphones on so I had these like big headphones on the the sunglasses and he, I just sat I remember sitting on the floor in our, our dining room um, when I was in, in in our old house and I must be around nine ten years old I can't remember how old, how old I was at that time and all I remember was that I was listening to um, this this CD um, by Audio Strobe, and my father told me, "Oh, it's like the sounds of aliens and UFOs and space and everything. Just just sit and enjoy." And that was my first ever introduction to light and sound devices when I was at a young age, and I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" And what happened was that I actually visualized; I could see visually behind my eyes closed so when you're when you're under these mind machines and light machines you always have your eyes closed and it's the different wavelengths of light which produces these very physical um, images um, not psychedelic in nature but it was images like going help you helping you to dream more help you to visualize more and be more creative and so I was experiencing what I saw was like a UFO, uh, you know, a space spacecraft, a typical one with all these lights and stuff. And I was like, this is very strange. Like, I'm experiencing this experience with this, this sounds and this device. And I remember taking it off after like 20 minutes or half an hour. I'm like, wow. And I spoke back to my father and said, wow, that was a very interesting experience. And I said what I saw. And so since then, it had always sparked my interest about light and sound devices and consciousness and meditation. Um, so my father had been to the Monroe Institute. If you don't know what that place is, it's uh, Robert Monroe who created the Monroe Institute back in the 1950s or 60s. Um, he'd been a radio engineer for many, many years and playing around with different frequencies on like headphones, trying to balance like white noise and stuff. And he started having out body experiences. So he started to produce this, uh, these CDs on cassette, first of all, on tape, uh, called Hemisync, which was short for Hemispheric Synchronization. So along then, since then, there have been many other like businesses and companies um, and pioneers in, in the states of consciousness and electronics who have created these different devices um, for exploring states beyond the body, beyond the mind. So the very first one was the a AVS uh, audio strobe uh, mind machine. They're called mind machines. And you can find these on mindmachines.com, I believe. And my father had them all. He's had things such as the Laxman, um, the, the Lucia light machine, which was a, a big like lamp, you know. But um, that's a little bit of history, I guess. I don't know too much about the history I need to know, but... Um, what I want to talk about in this video is about how to relax into that session, you know, the sessions that you are in when you're under a light, when you're under a flashy, blinky, stroboscopic light machine or a light device. 
Now, the for me, from my own personal experience, that the the light the, the mind machines that have like goggles that you put on aren't as powerful as the light machines that come on like a stand, which are like a lamp which goes directly in front of you through your closed eyes. The ones that you put on your as, as glasses are uh, they're okay they're good for like traveling a little bit like if you're on like the bus or the train and a long journey like on the plane or something but however for a more of an immersive experience you probably need like a light machine such as you know Roxiva RX1 and you can find that link down below there've been other light machines that have come along along the way um, such as the Ajna light and the Pandora star and um, these have all been great devices, but as you know, time goes on and more newer technology comes along its way, which has far superior sort of technology and, and software and hardware and a, you know, a good user community that people can get great support from and help. And I mean, at, currently at the moment, I'm recording this during, you know, 2021, the beginning in January, and this is the time of, you know, these dark times of the coronavirus and quarantining and self-isolation and not leaving our homes. And so these are great devices to use. I was using one the other day, uh, the, a light machine, the Lucia, and, you know, having a really good, good time with it, you know, really enjoying the experience of being in this different world. And that's what the light machines are designed to do there, enabling you to take yourself away from this world for a little bit, an escapism. The same with movies, the same as painting, the same as, we're well, not the same, but like, it's, it's an escapism, you know. And when, when, even when you meditate, you escape into that, into that different reality, that different world of being very immersed in, in what you do, you know, like, have you, daydreaming is a very, you know, it's one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much in my mind, thinking about things, I get lost in my own mind, you know, follow the white rabbit down, deep down into the mind the, of the, you know, of the rabbit hole. And, uh, you know, I start to get quite, you know, very, I'm very fantasizing a lot of the time. And that's a great thing to do as a, as a person who, you know, enjoys light machine sessions, you know, light sessions. So, for me, um, how to really absorb yourself into a light machine session is to completely let go and although you're dealing with this this piece of technology that has the capability of changing your consciousness you know changing your brainwave states using flickering light using pulses just like binaural beats but it's like it's like an entity there almost you know a good entity a, a good a good being you know a very positive being it's your guide you know, it's, it's a light being almost. And although it's man-made and it's flickering away, it almost has this essence of a consciousness to it where you can build a relationship. And that's the important thing to do whilst having a light machine uh, or having a light machine session is to building up this relationship with it where, you know, you're, you're giving it energy. It's giving you energy. And when I say giving it energy is that we are emotional beings, we are physical beings, we are spiritual beings, mental beings. We are this mixture all inside us in this physical meat suit where we are, at, you know, acting our lives, you know, we're having our lives, but life gets in the way, we get stressed, we have pain, we have sometimes anger, happiness, we're trying to work through something, we're trying to get creative or come up with some ideas. And the best thing to do is meditation. But this day and age, it's like everything is hyped up. Everything is impulse buying at your fingertips straight there in front of you. So for me, light and sound together go amazingly well. That's why for many years I've been playing gongs, um, doing harmonics and sound using my voice. Um, and also, you know, giving a good experience to people to lay down and to um, enjoy you know, receiving sound and light. Now, like, for example, the Roxiva's, Roxiva's RX1 is audiovisual brainwave entrainment. So it has the ability to, you know, have audio and visual at the same time, like synchronized. And that's very, something that's very important. That it is both two of our senses, your visual and aud auditorial. And those two things are the things that we interact with our daily lives, you know. 
we have a sixth sense, yes, we can smell, but through this experience of alone, of the visual and the order, auditorial, like, you know, from hearing, is that we start to picture this different world behind closed eyes. So getting into a light machine session, laying down peacefully, comfortably, it's... It's a, it's a beautiful experience and every time is completely different. To be honest, for me, it's like any meditation time that sometimes you might get into the meditation where you are completely absorbed and lost in it and you don't remember anything. Sometimes you might, I might fall asleep or I might have a great creative moment about doing something creative with like some video editing or... Um, you know, making a program, doing a doing an event or a retreat, but obviously those times are past at the moment because of the current pandemic that's going on. Hopefully, that won't last for much longer. Um, but like, yeah, it's like meditation is the best way. But again, we live in this modern world where we are surrounded by this technology, and it's like, well, how can we start to balance that, and how can we be more connected with others and ourselves, and you know. The light machine is is the way for me, is that it's not both, you know, when you meditate, you get to meet your guys, you get to connect, but then there's an, that element there of being, feeling that you're not really connected fully to the outside world physically, that you feel very much on your own, and you're having these experiences, and you want to speak to someone about it. So being in this light machine community, you know, of, of Roxiva, and other, if you have a device that is a light machine, it's like, well, come together. You know, let's share our experiences. Let's have daily, you know, meetings or weekly meetings where we can experience these and 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 see where life takes us. You know, it's very, very beautiful. But as an individual, an individual session that you have on your own is one that is very, very powerful. Excuse me. And for me, when I go into a light machine session, there are a, a number of elements that are very, very important to to utilize so one is setting the space so it's it's turning off your phone it's to unplugging the internet if that's what you feel like you need to do um, turn off your doorbell for a bit um, being being in a room in the house or somewhere in your property where you can have complete privacy black out the windows um, you know have a really dark room to do it and that's the best way you're going into like a cave almost you're really being secluded in the space just for you um, and temperature is important too so don't be in such a cold room and if it is a cool room then make sure that you have enough blankets on you that you are warm because as soon as you start laying down your body stops moving and you're going through, through meditation and, and different states of consciousness and different awareness levels your body starts to get cold so don't just lay there and think, oh, I'm, I'm comfortable. You can probably be okay if you're in a warm room or in a warm climate or country. But make sure you have like a blanket over you to just keep that temperature within your body. And uh, otherwise, you can come out of that experience very deeply and be, be quite cold and be a bit irritated for some people. Another thing I find is just having some water next to you, just, just in case you need some. Um... And also, I find, for me personally, is just brushing my teeth before I go in. If I've just eaten, another thing, not eating on such a full stomach, because when you're laying down or slightly or, or elevated, then, like, you know, you don't want to be too full. So for me, those are the elements that I do. I set the space. I make sure things are charged, like my MP3 player or my phone, if I'm using it for, um, you know, setting a, um, an alarm even. That's important. And um, once I'm in there, I'm laying down, I've got everything ready, then I say to myself, okay, now I can relax. And before I begin the session, and before I actually get into it, I start doing some breath work. And breath work is very, very important, very, very powerful, helps to oxygenate your whole body, and can help you to be completely uh, relieved and tension. And really intense breath work for like five, ten minutes, and then after that I relax. And things... You know, like breath work really help to access deep states of consciousness, especially for like out of body experiences and lucid dreaming and, and, and creativity and everything. Relax, you know, everything is, you know, the breath is very important for, for deep sessions, you know, deep meditation. 
and I have my eyes closed the whole time. I have the light machine on. I make sure that sometimes I even lock the door if I'm in the room because I know that, okay, I'm not going to get disturbed. Even there's no, even though there's nobody in the house, just having that lock on the door is like a mental security of like, no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm all right. You know, I, you don't have to lock the door. But for me, sometimes if I'm, if I'm in, a, in a place, I like to just know that I'm not going to get disturbed. Even by a loved one, even by a family pet, <laughs> the dog. Um, just want to know that nothing's going to jump on me and startle me. I know that this time is just for me. And that's very, very beautiful. And um, it's important to also empty your mind. It's the same in meditations. Um, that when you do go under the light machine, that this time is for you. F f focus your, your mind completely blank. You know, don't have anything on your mind. If it is, then work through it. And then just be in the moment to see what happens. And to be honest, if you keep up the meditation regularly every day without any distractions, then you'll find mostly that you are going to have a very deep experience. Um, that, you know, money can't buy. No one can help, you know, guide you to but yourself. And the, the powerfulness of the light machine can help guide you there too with the visuals, um, the changing of consciousness with the visuals, the, the, the audio, the sounds, and you get completely lost and you can come back from the experience feeling completely wide awake, fresh, alert, happy, positive, with a creative new idea on your mind or, you know, yourself battling with your emotions. You can confront your own demons, if you like to call it that, you know, your ne any negative parts or you know, going through some frustrations, just go into like a meditated state and just you can deal with that in a, fl a few clicks, a few flashes, you know, of just a little bit of light and just, okay, I'm going to change my consciousness. But I always say this to people when they're under the light machine sessions with me. If I'm in, if I'm in the room giving a gong bath and guiding them under the light, I give them some um, pointers and I say, work with the light machine don't view it as something separate than you but something that is working with you like an entity like a like a light being and when you do if you have anything that you want to offload of yourself and you don't have to tell me this you can speak to the light machine itself in your mind that if you have anything negative or trauma or a past experience past occur occurrence that has is troubling you currently that is distracting you from being present in this time then you can throw all that dark negative stuff into the light machine and use it like a portal to suck away anything that is no longer serving you and I always say that before I start the session and say please try and work with it keep your eyes closed and visualize looking directly into the, the light machine and just put any energy in there you don't, you don't need and 80% of the time I get people after the session feeling very emotional, like, wow, yeah, I really listened to what you, you had said and I, I worked with the light machine and I found that I was able to get rid of this, this pain that no longer served me. And I was like, that's beautiful. And that's exactly the reason the work that I love doing and reaching out to people um, such as yourselves who are even watching this now that are to receive anything from me that I can help you or them in a way that can help themselves be more fulfilled and happy and reach their goals and feel more positive and, and vibrant and lighter. So the light machine sessions isn't just about laying down and having a psychedelic experience because that's what you can get but on an emotional spiritual level on a psychological level it can be a great healing tool that sometimes we don't have the money to go to a, to a therapist all the time but with a light machine we can have us have a therapist at our fingertips at our fingertips of like being there in the room and offloading our problems and worries without draining the the person listening you know we can just offload and we we almost in a deep state of consciousness and when i've been through this when i've been getting rid of things that no longer serve me you forget that you're in this deep you forget that you're in this physical body and this physical existence and you're going through a different level of change of consciousness and then you're aware at some point that there's this light being this presence there in the room 
because the light is shining on you, flickering away, flashing, strobing, gently and beautifully. But then it's like, it's just present. It's just without any judgment. And that non-judgment counterpart that is viewing you is such a beautiful experience to, to feel and go through that although it's being present, not judging and looking at you, and though it is a, it is a man-made tool, it is still light. And light is the key of, of life. It is what lights up our life. It is what shows the darkness. It what gives, makes us feel happy when there is light. And without light, we become depressed, we become low, agitated, our circadian rhythm is all over the place. And so our body clock and our emotions and our hormones and everything is all governed by the source of light itself. So if we cannot control that through our daily lives, if we have like night shifts and different work routines or different parts of the world when we don't have the physical presence of sunlight, or especially when it's cloudy, especially here in England, it's cloudy a lot, it rains, especially the colder months, there's less light, like it can keep us quite unhappy. But having a light machine in our lives, in my life even, that is there, that I can utilize and work with, that it is such a beautiful experience to go through where I'm really, I'm experiencing life in a beautiful way where I've got a, a program light machine where I know it's going to be going for a certain while and I can just absorb the rays of this therapeutic colors that help us to feel more better and feel more connected and that is something that's so beautiful to to experience for myself that also that any session any meditative light machine session that I get into myself personally that each time is completely different and each time is completely unique. Sometimes I might fall asleep, sometimes I might wake up with a new creative idea, but every time it is completely different. Sometimes I might not remember anything and other times I've probably gone into a full-on dream or a feeling or feeling my guides or, or something phenomenal. And that is the beauty of working with light itself, that we work with light all throughout the day, but why not have a light machine that's there that can help you know, change our brainwave patterns, to change our visual perception of the world and emotionally, be, letting it be our, our light therapist, you know, a light therapy that is in the room, giving energy to us without it emotionally draining the other person, but helping us heal along the way. And as a therapist myself, I need therapy. And so this light machine is really beneficial to help me to grow spiritually, physically, mentally, be more balanced and enjoy, you know, life as it should be in, in lightness. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've heard, listened um, to things I've said and it's probably understood in some way of your own light machine experiences or your own meditations or wanting to go deeper which these devices can definitely, definitely do. If you want to know more about these devices, you can look them down in the, in the link below and um, you'll find their uh, links and information to my website and, and other links beneficial to, to light machines and, and you know extraordinary states of consciousness which are waiting likely for you to experience uniquely, just for you. And that's the beauty of life is light itself so thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed listening and watching me. Keep light in your life and remember that, you know, you are in total control always. So until next time, goodbye.